Saturday. Welcome to the start of a new weekly vlog. It's Saturday, November 19th. It's 20 after seven. I am almost home from an early morning Starbucks run. I got a caramel brulee latte again. Absolutely my favorite one of their holiday drinks so far this year. Um, and it's chilly out this morning. It is 18 degrees and in typical crazy Minnesota fashion, I am wearing pajamas. Um, they are just like my Target Wonderland pajamas. So, you know, cotton t-shirt material pajamas. I am wearing no socks and I need to open my garage door here. Uh, no socks and the Crocs with the fur in them. So I have just a little bit of warmth there. And yeah, my hair is crazy. It's Good, good start to a Saturday morning, right? Um, thankfully, the people in the Starbucks drive-thru could not see my pajamas because that would have been quite pleasant for them. Finish pulling in my garage here. Um, ooh, it's dark in here. Anyway, so that is the start to my morning. Um, I have had a really crummy last few days, to be honest. Um, so we didn't film anything last week, no weekly vlog for last week. Um, and I am honestly just trying to kind of get back in the swing of normal life. Um, today is probably going to be a ridiculously chill day around our house. Lots of reading and relaxing and all of that stuff. But yeah, um, I'm not going to get into details of last week because there really just aren't details. It just was a high anxiety not feeling great, stressful work, crummy kind of week. So we are letting go of last week. We're starting fresh with this week. And I thought I would just hop on this morning and say good morning because I am honestly not sure um, how much we'll film today because we're going to be pretty boring. <laughs> Which to be fair, we're always boring. But anyway, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to have my coffee, probably have some breakfast and we will let you know what we get up to today, but happy Saturday. Um, it's eight o'clock at night now. Last time I talked to you guys was seven something this morning, I think, or six something this morning, maybe. I can't remember when I was getting Starbucks. I said it wasn't going to be a very exciting day and it wasn't, but it was super nice. We literally sat in here in the office all day, except we did make chow mein which we had for lunch. And then, um, you guys had the leftovers for dinner, correct? Yeah. You've read a lot of that book. Yeah. So we've basically been in here reading. Also, I'm watching Gossip Girl right now and I worked a little bit on my model. So I'll show you that real quick. There's the pieces that are done so far. It was just the sailboat and then those two little things that I did today. So not a ton. I've got super glue all over my hands, but that's the progress. I'm going to work on it again tomorrow. That Gossip Girl. Uh, that's not the best representation to show somebody that we're watching Gossip Girl, probably. <laughs> got three lions down here on the floor. And show them the cover of your book. I bought this at Barnes & Noble last night. Look at how cool that cover is. What is the book called again? Chain of Gold. By? Cassandra Clare. Yeah, it's a YA fantasy book. You're enjoying it so far? I just judged it by the cover. Totally cool. judged it by the cover. It's a Barnes & Noble exclusive cover. Look at that thing. Yeah, that's cool. Are you enjoying the book? Yeah. This is your first, like, young adult fantasy book, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you're finding getting it. better. Yeah. Yeah, I know you didn't Started love it at the beginning. Slow, but... Yeah. I'm reading another one of hers right now, and I love it, so I'm excited to read that one. I've got some remnants of snacks and sodas and water, and then here are all my books. So, anyway, that is it from us today. Hopefully tomorrow will be slightly more interesting, but, um... Yeah, I'm still not feeling 100%, and I needed just to kind of chill and do nothing this week, so, or this weekend, so, 
we're gonna probably grab a snack here or something and sit and keep reading and watching TV and whatever and then I'll check in with you in the morning. Good morning. It's Sunday now. Sunday, November 20th. Um, which I just remembered means tomorrow I get to make our Disney dining reservations. So that's exciting. Um, but today I'm having a pity party. I'm just having a pity party. I'm in my pajamas. I've got a little bit of junk food here. I've got Riley here with me and my books and my Animal Crossing. I've got some Gossip Girl on the TV. And this is what my Sunday's gonna look like. So not a lot different than yesterday, except yesterday it was just Jason and I relaxing, chilling in the office. We just had a really nice cozy day um, just hanging out. Today is a pity party. So I feel better, like my cold, all that stuff is gone. Um, but I'm having some nerve stuff going on. I think it's nerve stuff anyway. I will talk about it more later. I just don't feel like talking about it today. Um, but yeah. Good morning. Happy Monday. It is Monday, November 21st. It's a little after 7 a.m. And I feel like this is the beginning of the weekly vlog because I have filmed next to nothing this week. I think like two seconds on Saturday. Um, there are two woodpeckers out at the feeder right outside my window, so they are going to distract me a little bit. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, and yesterday was just a full-on pity party. I was feeling sorry for myself for a bunch of stuff, and yeah, it was just one of those days. Um, I hate those days. I just have no patience with myself when I sit around feeling sorry for myself. It doesn't do anybody any good, but it, it's over and done with. I can't change it now. It's fine. Um... It probably was good. It was just a day where I could kind of unplug. I literally just chilled in the bedroom and watched Gossip Girl and read from my books and the newspaper and stuff. And that was my entire day. So it's fine. We're up and at them on a Monday. Actually, I got up a little after five this morning to have my quiet time and my coffee and all of that because then I needed to make some dining reservations for Disney World. And I didn't realize it was going to work this way. So we have um, a week um, booked. So if you didn't know how the Disney thing works. You can book your dining reservation 60 days from the day that your trip starts. If you have a hotel booked on Disney property, you can then book out from the first day all the way through your trip, even though it's only 60 days from the first day, if that makes sense. So I was expecting that I was going to be able to book for the whole week. Um, but what happened was we had booked Old Key West from Saturday to Saturday, and then we added a night at All Star Movies on Friday. So today is the 60 days from the Friday night booking. So it's treating them as two separate trips, which I guess makes sense. So I was only able to book our Saturday dining. I'll have to book next week's dining tomorrow. Anyway, that was a bunch of information you probably didn't need, but we do have a Beaches and Cream dining reservation for noon on the Saturday when we first get there. So score, and we've got a couple of others I would like to get but no must-haves. So we'll do that tomorrow morning. But I did that at six. Um, and then I got myself washed up and put together. So I'm ready, essentially, except I need to throw on some jewelry and I have a, a nicer shirt I'm going to throw on the top of this to get dressed because I have to go into the office today. And you guys all know how I feel about that. Um, we are having our work Thanksgiving lunch today. And this is just not my thing, guys. Not my thing. I have nothing against any of my coworkers. Um, I I get along with them just fine. The ones that I know, there are a few new ones that I don't know very well. Um, but yeah, it's nothing about that. I have never enjoyed these lunches, even when I worked in the office. I just, it feels like mixing work life and outside of work life to me. Like work is just come into the office, be pleasant to your coworkers, do your job, go home. My friends, my family, things I enjoy are outside of my job. I've always worked really hard to keep those two things separate. And I know it's weird working from home because they're very much not separate. But they are in a sense. Work happens right here at this desk. You know, when I go out and do things out in the rest of my home or at 4.30 when I turn it off, like work is done. So anyway, yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. I also don't enjoy leaving my house these days, but that's that's a separate <laughs> that's a separate thing. So, I signed up to bring pies, which was easy. Um, Jason threw the pumpkin pie in the oven for me last night, which was really really sweet of him. So I have that and a pecan pie that is I think all the way thawed um, in the fridge right now. So I'll check on those in a couple of hours 
make sure they're good to go. And then I'll probably leave here around 11.30. And I don't plan on staying more than just the hour lunch. So I should be back here relatively early in the afternoon. And then tonight we are going to try and get the house cleaned and get the towels um, washed and maybe whatever laundry is down there. Um, maybe even pick up a little bit in the basement. We'll see. We're going to just kind of do house prep. I would like to have one night this week where I don't have to do anything. Um, so I think I'm going to try to make that tomorrow night. Or if we need to do a little extra cleaning, maybe we do. And then Wednesday will be gung-ho final prep because we're hosting Thanksgiving on Thursday. So yeah, I'm looking forward to things this week, but I'm also like, I want today to be over. <laughs> Today's what I'm not looking forward to. So Anyway, I'm going to get to working. I'm going to try to get a little bit of work done here before my official work day even starts. And then, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see how this lunch thing goes. But anyway, happy Monday. Hello. It is 1.25 right now, and I am on my way home, which means I survived my Thanksgiving lunch. Woohoo! <laughs> Sorry if it's a little bit bouncy for you. There's some potholes in the road, but um, it was good. Food was good conversation was good. It was fun to, to chat with some of my team members. And then I also got a chance to talk to um, one of the girls that I don't know as well. And yeah, it was fun. Um, anyway, yeah, I always enjoy myself more than I think I'm going to. Good to get out of the house. It's all good. So I even scheduled a, a lunch with one of my team members for next week. So I'm going to get out again next week. I don't know who am I. But yeah, I am actually really excited to be going back home though. No shocker there, right? Um, I don't have any work to do, like really at all. It's been a really slow day, but that's okay. Thanksgiving week usually is pretty slow. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'll work on my model a little bit or read a little bit, um, or maybe even work ahead so I don't have as much going into the end of the year because the end of the year usually kind of picks up for us, so have to see but I thought I should let you guys know that I did in fact survive my Thanksgiving lunch. This is the scene right now about 6 p.m. Got my Kindle. Spent a decent amount of time working on my model here and all the interior pieces are done. Watching some Gossip Girl. Christmas tree lights are on. Ugly office chair is obstructing the view, but so be it. And here I sit in my cozy reading chair. Uh, there's a lot of hockey on tonight, so Jason is gonna watch hockey in the living room and um, probably just chill out there and read and stuff while he watches. And I'm gonna chill in here and read while I watch Gossip Girl. Um, and then I think tomorrow night we have agreed. Tomorrow night we're also gonna take it easy. Um, just have kind of a normal night. Um, probably watch some TV or something. And then Wednesday, we're going to do all the work to get ready for Thanksgiving. We're just going to kick it all off in one night, laundry cleaning, all of it. Will we hate ourselves on Wednesday? Probably, but that's all right. We're going to just enjoy the next two days. Um, so we stopped at Jensen's, which is the little um, teeny tiny grocery store close by. We like to go there. We like to support them. Plus it's just kind of a fun little place to go. Um, and we picked up some dinner. I had some broccoli salad and some potato salad. Um, and they have a really good prepared, 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 prepared food section. Um, so we stopped and got that. And then we came home, had dinner with my mother-in-law. And then, yeah, this is, this is it for the night. I am down to this many books to read. Just a few but I'm actually more than halfway through all of them, close to done with several of them. So I'm gonna see where we get. Um, and then, yeah, start putting together my December TBR. I'm excited because we're going to the library this coming Saturday and I can't wait to pick up some new books. So gotta finish these books first, but I don't think this reading thing is going away anytime soon. I think this is my life now. Sit in a cozy chair, read a book, curled up in a blanket. <laughs> but anyway, that was my Monday. It's been a good day. Um, tomorrow is going to be super cozy, more Disney World reservations in the morning, and then super cozy 
like sh warm shower, comfy clothes, hanging out in here, working on my model and reading and stuff while I work. So that's the plan for tomorrow. We'll see if that holds, but anyway, that's it for Monday and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday now, November 22nd. It's 9.20 a.m. I am sitting at my desk. I've gotten some work done. I am still in my pajamas and I have got some coffee in my snuggle mug. I have got a cinnamon donut from last night's grocery trip. I've got my newspaper. We're having a very slow moving morning today. And I feel like I say this a lot lately, but honestly, my anxiety has just been really high lately. So um, I am just focusing a lot on self-care at the moment and kind of getting myself back into a better spot. I've been here before. I'm not new to this. <laughs> so unfortunately, yeah. And at the moment, um, so I was dealing with a head cold and stuff last week or the week before for quite a while, but it turned out to be just that, a head cold, and it's basically gone. Um, I still have a, just a little bit of stuffiness in my head, but it feels more almost like allergies um, or maybe just sinus, which I have sinus things all winter every year. So, but I don't feel sick anymore. Um, I haven't in several days, so that's all good. I'm glad to be done with that. Um, and now I'm just kind of dealing with this weird nerve thing that I have. So I don't know if I've talked about it before. It pops up maybe two or three times a year. Um, and I'm going to try to start taking really good notes about it so that next time it pops up, I know exactly when it was and how long it lasted. Um, I've been tested by the doctor for everything under the sun. Some of the symptoms could be anxiety related. Some could be from my thyroid. Some could be nerve situations. Who knows? They've tested for all of the big baddies and those have all come back negative, fine, whatever. Um, and I will continue to go in and get tested every time I, something flares up, you know, just to keep an eye on it. I'm not worried about it. It's just frustrating and annoying. Um, and basically just the very short version of what it is, is um, I find myself having like weird tingling and, and not really numbness, but like pins and needles kind of sensation in weird spots on my body. It's always different places. Um, and then I have just weird little aches and pains. Um, a lot of times along like the sides of my neck, particularly on this side, but I do have it here too on this side, like right in my shoulder, right here in the front and then the same spot along the back. Um, yeah, and that's mostly where it is, sometimes in my arms, but it's mostly where it's concentrated and it's just annoying. And it very much does feel like some sort of a pinched nerve situation because I can kind of like I can you know lean my head down to open up my back and sometimes that'll help or switch positions it doesn't always help but sometimes anyway it just all lends itself to being nerve issue but MRIs and CAT scans and x-rays and yada yada over the years have revealed nothing so these are just things that are really hard for them to be able to catch um, anyway if that's what it is Honestly, the best way to help it is going to be to lose weight um, and exercise and keep in shape so that when I do have flare-ups, that won't necessarily stop a nerve from being pinched, but when I do have flare-ups, I will be more flexible and be able to have more options. So at least that's that, that's what I've decided. <laughs> so basically, my focus is just to <clears throat> to do things to make myself feel better. Um, I, I don't know about you guys, but reading the news, social media, just talking to people in real life, the world is a crappy, crappy place right now. It's an ugly, dark place. And it is our responsibility as believers to shine a light in that place, to shine the light of Jesus into this world. And I, I know personally, I can't do that when I'm sitting around feeling sorry for myself um, or not feeling good or whatever the case may be. So sometimes it's a matter of buck up and get over it. And sometimes it's not that simple. And, um, what I've basically decided is I need to let go of some things. And I've talked about this stuff before a little bit, but, um, in, when I say I want to feel better, I am not going to drive myself crazy with numbers, uh, this many miles, this many steps, this many pounds, this many inches, this size of clothing. I'm done with all of that. Um, 
I am just going to focus on common sense decisions, you know, doing the things that, how do I say this? Doing the things that make me happy and bring me joy, but also balancing that with the things that are good for me and more importantly than anything, things that honor God. So my body is the temple for the Holy Spirit. And because of that, I need to take better care of myself. Basically, that's where we're at. So, yeah. Uh, we've been walking a lot more lately, so we're going to get back to that. And I actually enjoy that. I'm not going to do things I don't enjoy. Life's too short for that. So we're going to we're gonna walk more because I enjoy that. Um, and, yeah, I'm just eat a little bit more sensibly, but not crazy worry about ourselves. I don't know. Sounds like a really detailed plan, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, you guys will see more of it um, as as time moes forward. But sim things as simple as uh, I'm gonna think I'm gonna start having oatmeal for breakfast with like a sliced up banana, maybe a little bit of peanut butter, um, and it's something like that that's hearty and healthy and like cottage cheese, fruit, veggies, those kind of things for lunch. Just little changes like that that are easy. Um, I'm also thinking about cutting out soda <sighs> almost entirely. I'm thinking maybe we keep it in the basement and it can be like a weekend situation. I don't know. I need to talk to Jason because it would be good if we could be on the same page with that. But yeah, I didn't mean for this to be a discussion of my health plans, <laughs> but that's where I'm at. So that is why I've been kind of this strange, anxiety ridden, bummed out person the last couple weeks. And um, we're heading into Thanksgiving which is one of my favorite holidays, definitely my favorite season. I'm super excited about having family here. So yeah, time to get moving. But for today, we're gonna have a quiet day because I can, because nothing for Thanksgiving needs to be done until tomorrow. And because I don't have anything to do for work today, I'm going to allow myself to have this, this day. Um, but I want to show you guys something really exciting. So Jason and I went to Barnes and Noble the other night. He knew that I was having a high anxiety day. I'm gonna have to duck down here. <laughs> he knew that I was having a high anxiety day, bless his heart. And he knows the things that kinda, um, you know, help me get out of that. He knows me better than anybody on the planet. So of course he knows those things. Um, and so he said, hey, why don't we go out for dinner? We had some gift cards from our anniversary. Why don't we go out for dinner and go do some book shopping. So I was super excited. So we had dinner at Applebee's and then we went to Barnes and Noble. We got a couple of books there, which I will show you those. There's going to be a book haul I'm going to film and put up this Wednesday. So it'll actually already be out. So you've either already seen it or excuse me, you can go check my channel and you'll see it there. But I got a couple of books and he got a book. And then I saw, oh my gosh, did I see every book in the entire world that I want to own. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, Jason made a little bit of list for Christmas ideas and I made a list of things I want to maybe get at the library and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it felt a little bit like Nirvana in there. And there was a set of books that I have been wanting to read so badly. Everybody's recommending them. Everybody's loving them. I've taken a dive into young adult fantasy books and really, really enjoyed them. And uh, we were looking at them and Jason found them for a better price on Amazon. So he just ordered them on Amazon while we were in the store. He did not need to do this. It's Christmas coming up. He could have saved this for a Christmas present, but bless his heart. It is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Moss. Look at the size of this book, guys. I am so excited to read these. I can't even contain myself. Um, and it comes in this really cool box. And again, you will see more of this um, set in my book haul. I'll go into it in a little bit more detail, but <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, I am so super excited about it. Super excited to have new books to read. And that is just another part of the reason that I want to just sit in my chair and read to my little heart's content today. So that's what we're going to do. I am sorry for the long, long chat this morning, but I just wanted to get this stuff off my chest and move on, kind of enjoy the rest of my cozy day and then really kick things into holiday gear tomorrow. So I hope you're having a nice morning whenever you're watching this and I will check in with you later. 
Hello! It is Wednesday now, November 23rd. Um, I think I was, you know, Fabulous Vlogger Award again and filmed hardly anything yesterday, but anyway, it's been an odd week, um, but today has been great. So I got up, I got a video filmed, um, edited, and almost completely uploaded this morning. Um, it is a book haul slash update on my November reading. I finished two books today, which was awesome, and I'm well on my way to finishing another um, one for sure, maybe two, depending on how much time I have this afternoon. Um, and I had my lunch. I got all my work caught up for the Thanksgiving long weekend because we are closed tomorrow and Friday. And yeah, right now I'm taking a little break. I've got some Gossip Girl going on Jason's computer, and I'm going to read a little bit, um, in a few minutes here and then I'm gonna clean and organize here in the office. So when Jason gets home at 3 30 it's gonna be go time. I still have to work till 4 30 but I'll help as much as I can until then and yeah we need to get the whole house cleaned. It's not really dirty so it's gonna be just like dusting vacuuming that stuff and then we need to clean the bathroom and the kitchen and we need to get everything prepped for Thanksgiving, the food as well as baking I think both of the pies need to be baked and um, we need to switch around some stuff at the table to make it big enough for all of us. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of busy work. We saved it all for tonight because we figured we might as well just do it all at once. So yeah, <laughs> it's been a busy morning, which is good because it's making me forget about all this nerve stuff that I've got going on. And yeah, it's, it's, it's really been a good morning. Um, I'm feeling really positive. And I'm super excited about having my family here for Thanksgiving. So, yeah, I got a popcorn kernel stuck in my tooth because I did have a bag of microwave popcorn for lunch. But not sure what we'll do for dinner. Honestly, probably something relatively small. Um, I don't know. I always say that, but then we're not eating until later tomorrow. Uh, who knows? <laughs> Maybe we'll end up getting, um, picking something up or having something delivered just so it's easy. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'm talking really fast. <laughs> Tends to be a problem lately, but okay. Anyway, uh, I am going to go enjoy just like an hour or two here of reading and chilling and watching TV. Um, and then it's going to be hop to at time. So I will take you along for some of that and show you what the finished product looks like when we're all set for Thanksgiving, but happy Wednesday. <sighs> Okay, so it's later. It's almost three o'clock. My hair looks a little nuts because I just took the binder out um, so I could rest on the couch here. I'm sitting in my living room. You can see my stack of books there and Gossip Girl on the TV. So I didn't end up doing this relaxing and reading and everything earlier like I said I was going to. Um, my niece actually came and picked my mother-in-law up. She's spending tonight and tomorrow night at her house for Thanksgiving with some family. So as soon as they left, I just got up and dusted, vacuumed, did a little bit of cleaning. All that's really left is to Swiffer in a few spots. Um, with a wood floor, it gets really dusty and there's a couple places where the vacuum can't get to. Um, and then make sure the bathroom and the kitchen are clean. The kitchen will kind of clean as we go while we get the food like set up and any pre-prep and get the table ready and all that tonight. Um, and the bathroom, Jason usually takes a shower when he gets home from work. so. I'm sure he'll probably like kind of clean a little bit in there when he's done and then I'll finish up whatever's needed. Nothing needs a deep clean, thankfully, because we've been keeping up with it. But um, yeah, that's where we're at. I had kind of thought about vacuuming and cleaning a little bit in the basement, but I don't think we'll be down there at all. And honestly, our basement is a true basement right now. So it, it's messy and it's dirty and it's fine. Um, so I don't think I'm going to worry too much about that, but... Yeah, so now I'm going to spend the next half an hour, 45 minutes before Jason gets home watching some Gossip Girl and reading a little bit more and letting my latest dose of Advil kick in because this whole situation, whatever this is, is really flared up um, this afternoon. So yeah, not complaining though. Things could definitely be worse. Um, yeah, that's what I got for you, for you right now. Um, work has been absolutely dead, so hallelujah, praise the Lord for that. Hope it stays that way. Um, if we can just finish out this last hour, hour and a half of the workday and then start the holiday weekend, 
that would be wonderful. So I'm not going to lie. It would be kind of nice if we were going to have the house to ourselves all day Friday too. Um, but I think my niece has someplace else to go. I think maybe her husband's family on Friday. So it's fine. It is what it is. It's nice to have, um, this evening and maybe a little bit of tomorrow, tomorrow evening, um, just by ourselves. And then with, with just my family tomorrow. So yeah, Thanksgiving prep, but first a little bit of chill. <laughs> okay. So if you watched our travel vlogs from Massachusetts, you might remember Blanche. We got her at a gas station in Blanford and this is what she's doing tonight. This is the train tub for the laundry and she's just hanging out having a fun little bath thanksgiving prep time we've got our crayola crayons and this fun thanksgiving tablecloth that i just think is so cute i think it's going to be so funny because we're all adults here um to be able to do some word searches and things got some cranberries here we are high class with the box mashed potatoes. We also got some fun um, napkins and plates, cocktail peanuts. We've got our pumpkin and apple pie all done and just cooling. We'll have the boxed stuffing, yes indeed. And the rolls to do in a little while. Got some canned gravy. I told you we're classy around here. And in this roasting pan here, which is actually kind of hot. In this roasting pan here is the bird. I don't want to open it too much because I don't want to open it too much because I don't want to let any of the heat escape. But we started that at about six, maybe 6.30 this morning when we actually started it. So, um, yeah, I am just wearing a t-shirt and some leggings and I'm gonna wear my giant oversized hoodie today because it's just family and we're a comfy, cozy, get together family, which is nice. So yeah, things have started. I don't know if you can hear the noise in the living room, but we have the um, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade going in here because well, of course we do. It's a Verizon commercial right now, but of course. Um, and yeah, we're just kind of hanging around right now, kind of doing all the like the piddly stuff. We still need to vacuum and Swiffer in here, but I think we're going to wait till we're finished um, with all the little putsy, like put the food together kind of stuff. And then, yeah, happy Thanksgiving. So yeah, I think we're, we are getting pretty close to ready. Happy Thanksgiving. It is Thursday, obviously, Thanksgiving day. Um, pardon the glare on my glasses, but I'm wearing some of my fun pair toppers today. Um, I'm just going to wear my big giant hoodie. And of course, there's a book sitting out here. Of course. Um, but yeah, we got up around six o'clock this morning and we got the turkey started. And I mean, to be fair, Jason did all the work. I have done hardly any work because I was in so much pain this morning, but mm -mm, not talking about that today. Um, today is a day to be grateful for everything that we have. Um, last Thanksgiving was uh, involved hospitals and illness and be, we are so grateful to not be back to that point. Um, we are so grateful instead to have healthy family members coming to, um, spend time together and just really enjoy the holiday. Um, so yeah, I don't think I will film a ton when they're here. Maybe not at all. Um, but I will take a bunch of pictures and stick them in if I don't get any filming done, but I will continue to film the, uh, process of the Thanksgiving meal, <laughs> get everything prepped and all that. Um, and yeah, for now we're gonna watch the parade, maybe read a little bit, wait for our paper to come, which is relatively late today. Not a surprise, but I really want that Thanksgiving paper. And yeah, happy Thanksgiving. <sighs> okay, I am here to announce massive vlogger fail, also just life in general fail. I took not one single picture of my family here for Thanksgiving. So next year, we're gonna have no memories come by on our prime photo that family was here for Thanksgiving. What? <sighs> on the other hand, I filmed nothing. I literally took no pictures, nothing. 
On the other hand, though, the reason none of that happened was because we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. Right? Yep. It was so much fun. Good. We were just having such a good time that we just didn't even, like, it didn't even really occur. Yeah, it was constant conversation. Yeah, constant conversation. I mean, my my aunt hadn't seen my mom and dad since last year before they had COVID. So, it just, yeah, life's been crazy this year, and they hadn't seen her since then. So, it was kind of nice to um, to get together. And, yeah... I mean, I want to have more, like, family get-togethers here and stuff, but this was kind of a good way to dip my toe in a little bit. I am not a hostess at all. And, to be fair, I did nothing. He cooked the entire meal. He literally cooked the entire meal, did most of the prep and setup, did all the dishing out of the food and everything, and all pretty much all the cleanup. So, credit where credit is due. Um, but yeah, it was exactly what I hoped it would be. Don't you think? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It was really fun. It was, I mean, they got here, the turkey got done way faster than we thought it was gonna. So I texted everybody and they got here. What do you think about like 11, 15 ish, 20 after maybe? Yeah, about that. Yeah. And then we finished up everything. This rat right here, you can see. Finished up everything and ate, and then they all left. Right, it was about eight o'clock, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so it was it, perfect. It was just perfect. Um. So, yeah, I feel like I want to apologize for not filming, but on the other hand, I'm not going to apologize for enjoying time spent with my family and not putting it out. You know, putting that first. So I think everybody understands that. But anyway, um, right now. This is the scene. We're watching football. Got the Christmas lights on. We are looking at the Black Friday ads. How many Thanksgiving papers did we get? Two. What happened? Someone wasn't patient. And okay, he's going to tell anxious. you his version. Well, this is the truth. Someone's getting anxious that the Paper hadn't come yet. Yeah, that is true. I was. And I was kind of bummed because I was wanting to look at the ads. Oh. So, and to be fair, was, it was late. Yeah. It ended up coming at around 11. 11 o'clock, yeah. It's supposed so to be. I went to the gas station and bought one. So So we have we had two. I sent one home with my aunt because my mom and dad had bought one too. I mean, to be fair, they're supposed to be delivered by 8. Yeah, and, and you got an email that said, oh, we hope to deliver it by for sure, by eight. eight today. Well, yeah. Don't send it out an email if, if you can't you do know it. You're short staffed. And... Yeah. So that was frustrating. It's it ended up being fine, but at least we got one. Christmas lights. There's Rhett and Richard. Um. Yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna do this for a little bit, and then I think we are going to watch the first episode of the New Criminal Minds when it's on in a few minutes, and we'll see from there. Um, I don't know if we're going to brave going shopping or not tomorrow. Like part of me wants to go at least somewhere. I feel like for sure I want to at least drive around and look and see what the stores look like. You know? Yeah. And then we can kind of gauge, I guess. Maybe I'll pick up a coffee or something and we can kind of gauge if we want to go in. But anyway, that is life around here right now. But if we do find any good Black Friday deals... Well, first of all, if we go into any crazy Black Friday stores, like with the crazy crowds, I will definitely try to film. And if we find any good deals, I am certain there will be a haul. So um, I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And we'll check in tomorrow. We're at Target. I got my caribou mint mocha, which I think I'm cheating because there's a Starbucks here. And I'm eating or drinking caribou. Shame on me. But... Does this look like a Black Friday crowd? <laughs> well, I don't know. I guess there's not. I mean, there's yeah, there's some some stuff, but wow. It is like super duper quiet in here. We're going to stop in the feminine hygiene We're product the aisle because there's nobody here <laughs> to say good morning. It is Black Friday morning, November 25th. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, and it's about 9 o'clock. 
Um, we just went through the caribou drive through to get coffee. He's trying to hide the fact that he's buying maxi pads for me. Yeah. That's all right. I'm, I don't know if you want one. I have no shame. You want your brand? brand uh, um. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, but we stopped at Target first, and the parking lot didn't look that busy. And now we're in here, and there's, there's nobody like here, really. nobody here. But we were just saying it's kind of it's kind of refreshing. Yeah. They're still doing deals and stuff, but, but you can actually just shop. On it's the not the crazy TV. line up and lose your mind doorbuster TV stuff anymore. Running, people running TVs and stuff. Although I did see an advertisement for the Mall of America, or an Instagram for the Mall of America, and there was a million people standing outside overnight. Oh, I must have given away for something. Waiting free. to get in for deals, but yeah, so we're gonna do some shopping, but I don't think it's gonna be crazy. I hope you enjoy the day. Yeah, we've moved on to the furniture store. We're in Schneiderman's now. We might be getting something. Who's surprised? That's like wool. I mean, this is like... Who's surprised like, that we're getting a pillow with yeah. an anchor on it? Also, I want like six chairs. Yeah. We've tried out a few uh -oh. comfy chairs and couches. Oh, they're having some issues with the lights right now, I think. But not really busy in here either. Okay, so we are done shopping. Well, we're not done shopping. I talked someone into uh, maybe going into Barnes and Noble. Yes, like he made the already... he made the mistake of admitting to me that he hasn't bought any books yet for Christmas, which he probably shouldn't have done. Because <laughs> now I don't feel bad if also, I want to buy a book. Sure about cheese sauce. They said they didn't have any cheese sauce. Oh, they did. Yeah. Oh. It said right, they're out of peppermint shakes, they were, they were cheese advertising sauce. advertising when we pulled in the line of the cheese sauce. Yeah. And the shakes. Yeah, but it said on the drive through thing. And they weren't um, on the app. So we mobile ordered some Chick-fil-A. Which we were going to take home, but now that we're going to go into Barnes & Noble, we're going to sit here and watch people come out with their bags of books. And have a cheese snack. We just walked around Schneiderman's Furniture, which I did film just a little snippy in there. And we got our, our pillow. Um, they sell corner wedges to like couches that come in like pieces. They sell like just a corner for a hundred bucks. Like we were I feel like tempted. we were like I feel like I'll keep that in mind it would look though. Weird, but but we were thinking like for the office where I was kind of a little mishmashy in there anyway. Yeah. But it is nice to know that they sell that kind of stuff sometimes at furniture stores. But. It was such a nice furniture store. I feel like that's my therapy to go wander around a really nice furniture store. They're usually pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. Nothing feels very busy today, except we went into, well, the Kohl's parking lot was crazy. Yeah, we didn't go in there. No. And Bath and Body Works was nuts. Mm -hmm. But I think that was because they were having issues with their credit card machines. It yeah. didn't seem crazy enough to be Black Friday on top of I mean, credit card machines. It was people in almost every spot. I mean, there wasn't. It's a, lot a very of... small store, though. Yeah. I didn't think it seemed like it would have been outlandishly busy if they weren't having trouble with their machines. Yeah. But too busy for. I mean, we just were going in because we had a coupon, so we can always look online too. But. Anyway, we're going to eat our fries and our spicy chicken sandwiches. This chick fil is awesome. And uh, then we're prob probably going to buy some more books. We got 2500 that she hasn't read yet. But... Who cares? We're back. Yay. We're like hiding under our shadows of our hat brims. Shadow of the oh, ring. that's giving me memories of um, the picture they took of us at Wilderness Lodge. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They look like truckers. Nothing against truckers. I'll see if I can find it. It was in front of the Christmas tree. We were all tree. serious and our hats were... Well, because... So it was that when they would take, like, the pictures with, like, your magic bands. The one, how come I can't think of the name of the photo? Photo pass. <laughs> they would take those by the Christmas trees. And they probably still do. And we went to the Wilderness Lodge Christmas tree and we both had hats on and I'm thinking it was doing the same kind of shadow thing like this yeah. is doing. It's like, oh, I can't, we can't see your face. Tilt your hats up. So then we're both like this. Oh, 
yeah. It was, just... <laughs> it was weird. So you're just gonna have to put up with a shadow over my eyes here. Um, but anyway, so we went to Target. Where else did we go? Target. You got coffee first, Caribou. Yes. Then we went to Target. Then we went to Target. Then we went to, uh, mm, Riverdale. <laughs> we went to... How come I can't remember? Oh, oh we went to DSW. the... DSW. We went to DSW yeah. shoes. And then, then we... uh, Schneiderman's. Furniture. We did go to Bath and Body Works, too. Oh, yeah. We walked in, but it was too, too, too loony bin, so... We were having issues with the registers, so yeah. we decided not to stay. So then we went into the furniture store, and then we got Chick-fil-A, and then Barnes & Noble. Yep. So, of course, we have a haul. Of course. Ooh. Cotton balls. Exciting. That we're going from most to least exciting. Yes, most. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, colored Q-tips. Whoa. Oh, oh this tissue. is kind of fun. I did get a tissue box that was, like, cute wintery designs but still not that exciting toner yes my toner oh you can't see it at all because of the lighting but it is neutrogena alcohol free toner cheap works well and fruit fruit quake mountain dew <sighs> fruit cake flavored mountain dew which sounds Disgusting. absolutely disgusting i found out about it because my sister sent me a picture of 12 packs down in arizona and then we were at Targeted saw the 20 ounce, so it's not cold enough for us to try yet, but I'm going to put it in the fridge, and then we will try it later. Oh. We're anticipating it will be disgusting, but it feels like it needs to try. Then, oh, yeah. You know about that. Okay, so there was like a whole like British, Scottish, like a UK snack thing. Target. Yeah, and this is M&S Food, which I think is a store over there, right? I don't know. British YouTubers tell me if I'm right. Um... Percy Pig, which I'm fairly certain is like a little pink piggy candy that they have over there. But it's a cute little tin. I don't know exactly what the candy's going to look like, but we're going to open it up and look. Because this is what you come here for. The exciting vlog footage. Yes. Yeah. Today is the last day of the weekly vlog, and this week has been a boring doozy. This is also a piggy bank. It is also a piggy bank, yes. Are they chocolates? I don't think so. Percy Penny's fruit flavored candy. Oh. I'm not sure. They look like little. There you go. And they can go right into the slot. Oh, yeah. You yeah. Put your money in there. So here's what they look like the 10 Piggy Penny. 10 Piggy Penny. I'm going to see if they're any good. Let me see if I can open them. It doesn't smell like a thing. It doesn't smell like a thing? It doesn't smell like it anything. Totally it's got a pig picture on it. And it looks like a piece of gum to me. Oh, you got it. Oh, it's stamped just like the... Hmm. It tastes kind of white chocolatey to me with a little fruity. Yeah. Berry. Mm-hmm. Not bad. No. Not great, but... No. Not bad. But not bad. All right. A little bit of that. Mm. Oh, we forgot some of the really exciting stuff. Mm -hmm. Cotton pads. Oh, this is kind of exciting. This is for my cocoa. This could be a little bit festive. Some little green trees and red stars. Seem like kind of fun. And of course there was a sale, Black Friday sale on the books. Two for, buy two, get one free. So. Yep. Um, so I bought my first Colleen Hoover book. Never bought one of hers before. But I had heard that this one was also a thriller. She has romance books, but that it was both. So, I don't know. We'll see. What, what, what do we call this? What do the young people call this? Equitar. <laughs> I have been hearing all these girls on 
YouTube talk about Akatar and I was Googling it. I am such the old person here, guys. And I'm Googling Akatar, spelling it wrong, probably going, what is that? Oh, it's this. This is the same author who did the Throne of Glass series that I showed you earlier that I got. So this is the first book in that series, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to have both of those. And, and then... You know, you haven't read the first book of the series. No. And you don't know if it's good. You might as well buy yeah, the second one. It's good. This is the Inheritance Game series. There's three books, but the th and they had the third one there too, but it's hardcover. And I like to keep all of my books looking the same. Don't you think? Yeah. I, it's not like I'm opposed to hardcover if they were all hardcover, but yeah. So, I mean, I guess we just call this one the free one since we don't know if we like. Whichever one I don't like, I'll call the free one. If I like them all, yay. Yeah. What do you want to do next? More books or? Well, we got the pillow that we already kind of showed you guys. Yep, you're at Schneiderman, nice. but yep. So. That is some thick, nice Yeah. Boards. Yes, see the bottom nice of the anchor? Pillow. It's a really nice pillow. So right now we've got Christmas bedding in our bedroom. So we'll probably maybe just like set it down on the floor by my quilt rack. Um, but that, that will look, be on the bed. Yeah, yeah, that'll look really good on the bed. Books or shoes? Let's do shoes first. So we went to DSW. I went intending to, so I've been seeing everybody getting those UGG Ultra Mini boots, the really short ones, which are nice for me because my ankles get kind of chunky and puffy. Um, I could, they didn't have those. And they didn't have any bear paws. Like, they had none of those kind of boots. But I just got my first pair of Hey Dudes. Like, hey pink, dude. some pink ones um, that I really like. And we went down that aisle, and they had some Hey Dudes that are fuzzy. The whole inside isn't fuzzy. Like, the bottom isn't fuzzy, which is probably good for sweaty feet and stuff. But aren't those cute? But they also... Oh yeah, snap. They have snaps on the side. So if you want to wear some high tops. Yeah, which they look cute that way, but also I'm thinking like I wear leggings a lot and stuff, and in the winter if I don't wear socks with them, or short socks, these would keep my ankles warm too. So yeah, I'm excited about those. And then well, you got not, some shoes. Yeah, I was not planning on buying any shoes, but these kind of like jumped out at me. There was no choice here. There was kind of unique. He had to get these. You don't see a lot of green shoes. Look at how awesome those are. And a little red even for Christmas. Yeah. But they come with, I'll um, have to decide if I want white laces or green laces. Oh, I think I like they, the green laces. They were displayed but... with the green ones, so yeah. that's probably what I'll do. Or if you could do both, maybe. Awesome. I love those. Green is my favorite color, so of course, but yeah. my I think those are you kind of made me buy them. He comes walking around the corner and he's like, Look at these, they kind of jumped out at me. And I was like, Yeah, yeah. you showed them to me, you have to buy them now. Those are way too cool. <laughs> okay, this I'm so excited about. Barnes and Noble is selling these, they're like $34, I think, $34.99. But if you buy anything in the store, they're $16.99. At least today they were. Yeah. It's just a furry, it's like a, almost like a Sherpa feeling fabric. I think fabric. they always are because there's a, the holiday tag. I think, yeah. That. It's probably all through the holiday season. Um, but you just you just buy anything. It didn't even say a book. It just said with any purchase. Yeah. So anything in Barnes & Noble. But look at how cute that is. And yeah, it's like almost like a Sherpa material. And it's bigger than my other book bag. And I've been reading a book here and there. So yeah. I don't have any place to put my books. What do you got? We might have bought some more books. So I just picked, I decided I wanted to pick one out that was not influenced by YouTube or TikTok. Hmm. It's a young adult book that has kind of been where I've gravitated towards lately, but it's called Six Months Later by Natalie Richards. It just kind of sounds like a, a mystery book, like a murder mystery book. So, and this author has written a ton, which I kind of like to look for that when I'm trying a new author because you're probably doing well if you're continuing to pump out books. So we'll see. Stay tuned for book videos. And then of course I had to get Crooked Kingdom, which is the second book in the, what do you call it? A duology yeah. <laughs> with Six of Crows that I'm almost done with and totally loving. So got the, that one to round that off. Now I found Chunker. It's the same author that 
you've been buying, but this is the adult adult fantasy. I yeah, guess. so this is this, City. this one that I just showed you in the Throne of Glass are the YA books House that she writes. And blood. Yeah. I've been hearing good things about this one too. Um, not as much in depth though, because most of the people that I watch on YouTube and stuff haven't read it yet. They're just excited to read it. The new it, one so. is still hardcover. So the second one, I should say. The second one, yeah. So oh. I, I'll be kind of curious. So I'll try her young adult ones, and you'll try this one. And then we'll... I mean, this is not a problem book for me, but this is going to take you a... It's a while. Except for you read Stephen King's The Outsiders, which was 640 pages. Yeah, pretty quick. Pretty well, I was quick. way into that one, yeah. Yeah, so that's very exciting. Is that everything? That's it. Yeah. It was a good day. I mean, I'm wiped out. I don't go anywhere anymore. So I feel like a 90 year old after I try to go out and go shopping. Like I really do. But um, yeah. Anyway, I don't know for sure what we're going to do for the rest of today. We'll probably put some of this stuff away. Um, and then we're waiting. His mom is going to be home in 58 minutes. Nope. <laughs> my niece just called. My mother-in-law staying with her for Thanksgiving and she just called and said, well, we're just leaving. We'll be there in 58 minutes. It's been our Very details. precise. Yeah. So anyway, so I'm sure we'll wait for her to get home before we get settled into anything else, but I'm nesting tonight. That is the plan. That just means I'm either going to cozy up in here to read or it's like having a little kid around it. As soon as you get on the phone, they start making noise. Yep. Oh, I got it now. <laughs> Um, yeah, I really do like the bag. Anyway, or I'll go in the bedroom and nest up. But I will chat with you again before the day is over. I want to kind of recap the week and stuff. We're using the library book drop. There's a conveyor belt in there. It just sucks them right in. That was handy. Super handy. It closes. Okay, so apparently we're crazy. And we are gonna rearrange the office tomorrow and figured it'd be kind of nice if we didn't have to go grocery shopping or whatever at the same time. So it's 10 o'clock. We dropped off our library books and now we're at Cub. <laughs> we're just getting a few things for like our lunches and stuff. And then, yeah, we dropped off our library books. So plan for tomorrow will be to just get up and stay in our PJs or whatever our cozy clothes and then reorganize the office.